Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had discussion how to write a custom uh, query in a Spring Data JPA. And we had discussed about the, these three points. So in this video tutorial, uh, we'll have a hands-on on first point saying that creating database queries from method names, right? So basically, you create a repository by existing some existing J, Spring Data JPA interface, you create your own uh, interface uh, and that represents a repository for you and there you will have to add a method name by using some pre-existing method convention and you will need to follow some rules and from that method name, a Spring Data, a Spring, a Spring uh, Data JPA is very much capable to derive the SQL query. So let's go ahead and uh, try to implement this uh, uh, concept. So here what I have done, I have, I had a previous project which we had created in previous video tutorial, people management in Spring Boot Data App. So I have just copied, uh, make another, I have made a, another copy of the same project and, uh, and uh, what I have done, uh, I have cleaned all code, all unnecessary codes and only we have a template. So here I have a, let me close all. Uh, so first of all, I have a bootstrap class, a Spring bootstrap class, and there I have declared a uh, service reference over here, so auto wiring, so that I can make use of this reference in this main uh, bootstrap class. And we have a service class there. Just I want to use uh, door reference, and this door reference is a simple interface, right? And that extends CRUD repository interface. And here, basically, I have a requirement to fetch data from the database based on the last name right so if you look into my database then there are four records uh, record one and five is having the same last name murphy and record two and three is having a, a same last name as johnson so if i pass the last name uh, murphy then i would get two records first and fifth records so basically we'll get the list of records so how to achieve this kind of uh, this kind of uh, requirement so because if you look into this here though then uh, my requirement uh, cannot achieve through uh, this existing api so that's the reason we need to write our own custom method in this in this uh, in this um, repository class right uh, here uh, basically we don't want to access this existing api we want to write our own custom method so in that case you can your repository interface can extend repository itself or if you wish to access CRUD related methods as well as you want to add your own custom method in that case your repository can extend CRUD repository that up to you what use case you want to implement so as of now just i'm going to leave CRUD repository and here let's start coding from here so our requirement is to fetch data from the database based on the last name so here in run method uh, i'm going to call a method get uh, persons info by last name just i'm going to create this local method and create method and here what i will do i will list of person and let's say person list equal to I will make use of this reference service reference and here we want a method let's say method name is just I'm going to keep as it is but this here will have to pass a last name right so this input you can take from the keyboard or just I am going to hard code over here. You can make use of a scanner or some other way to take input from the keyboard. So Murphy I am passing and uh, Control Shift O for organize import. And this method is not available. That's why this is throwing an error. So let's create this method. And here we have a DAW reference, right? So go to the DAW and here define a method uh, which basically returns the list but uh, how to define a method not defined but how to declare method which will be 
uh, generating a SQL query for us. So there is some rule you will have to follow. So first of all, you will have to write find, means select query you want to write, then buy in camel case, and you can see it, there is auto support, right? So we want to select because based on the last name, so last name, and here uh, method argument would be last name. So this is the way to define. And that's it okay so from by looking into this method name a spring data jpa will drive the sql query now come to the service and here we'll access this method and this argument is nothing but last name we have and dog and we have a method is called find last name right and basically there are there are find all, find all, find one. These are the method you are basically accessing from the current repository because our repository, people management or repository extends current repository. So, but we are uh, interested to access this method which just we have defined and that's it, we are done. Now, if I run this application, let me show you the application properties or application dot properties. Here we are using a spring boot data. That, that's the R database and uh, Person record as of now contains 40 percent. So let me run this application and see what output we get. Oh, sorry, guys, we need to iterate this list as well, right? So I'm making use of the Java 8 for each loop, and I would say system dot out colon colon print element. So this is the way to print a list in Java 8. So if you don't know how to write the lambda expression, then please watch my Java 8 video tutorial. And here I have ran this application and see what output we get. Cool, we got the, you can see the select query, select and set that is selecting all columns from person table and last name equal to question mark, right? So query has been derived from the method itself. And we got the two person uh, records, right? Uh, person is having ID one and five, right? That's the matching records in our database. So I hope you enjoyed learning this video. Now, so we have completed first API and that basically fetch it, that fetch uh, database, uh, data from the database based on the last name, right? Now I'm going to implement the second API and there we'll have a two input so we'll take uh, first name and email and based on that we'll try to uh, select data from the database right so let's come in this section and i'm going to create a second method i would say get person's info by first name and email so here we are just we will supply two input parameter first name as well as email and uh, here uh, what I'll do is these things and uh, we'll, we are going to create a method in service layer get person's info by first uh, name and email and here for, uh, we'll have to specify the first name so let's say in our database so let's say we have a Barry, which first name is Barry itself, Barry Johnson. So first name I'm going to specify Barry and email. Uh, we have Barry dot J two thousand seven two thousand seven at the rate gmail dot com. So second parameter your email address, right? Now let's create this method in our service class. So here I'm going to create, I have created this method and from here we'll have to make call to our doll here. So in doll here we have to add a method. So return type would be list itself and I would say find by uh, and here we get the auto so first name and keyword and you will have to apply and you can see auto support is there and email. So this is the way to uh, name your method and here 
the first parameter is the first name and second parameter is the string itself that is nothing but the email so this is the way to define a our query method and from this query method a spring data jpa will drive the query and like select a star from uh, in person underscore table where first name equal to something and email equal to question mark something like that right now um, from service we can make call to this method right so, let's, uh, so first is here first parameter is the first name and first name and this is our email and let's make call to this method so here is the method which we have just defined here first name and email here and that's it we are done now come to here and let's run this project so we are expecting to get a single record right so there is possibility suppose i would not have applied unique constraint on email address here we had applied a unique constraint on email address so one user can register only one but if you remove the unique constraint from the email address then same user can apply uh, with the same email address and first name many times right in that case uh, you would get the multiple records right but uh, now let's run this project Cool. You can see the uh, SQL query select a star that is calling uh, selecting all columns from person table and in where cloud you can see first name equal to question mark and email equal to question mark. So this query has been derived from and we got the corresponding record right Barry, Barry Johnson uh, who, is, who is having the idea as to and this uh, query basically derived from uh, from are this method right so i hope you understood how to write our custom method here you have if here our dollar basically access method which is available for the basic crud operation from crud repository as well as this uh, inter this DAW interface has his own method but if you want to restrict the user of this DAW uh, to access that crud operation then you can uh, your your uh, crud your sorry your uh, DAW repository can extend only repository interface right and repository interface is a marker interface it does not have any uh, methods right so now uh, consumer of this uh, this repository will have only two methods right so because now this is extending the uh, repository interface that is the marker interface so let's after mod doing modification let's run this project once again and make sure that everything is working fine so i don't know what is the problem why this is getting failed that was not supposed to fail just we have run this application and now it is getting failed cool it's run successfully right so now it's working perfectly fine guys so i hope you enjoyed learning this video if you go to the browser and if you type uh, uh, spring the uh, jpa data official website then you'll get the link for the official website here and if you want to know more details about the how to write the method i mean uh, query method then here query creation right and here in query creation they have a several example how to write the query and if you come to the if uh, one minute and uh, here query creation if you come down then query creation part here they have listed the all keywords which you can apply right and and we have used right and there are a lot of less than less than equal to a lot of keywords supported keywords are there so you can go through this handful keywords which you can write while writing the method and they have given and uh, you can see lot of information is there and what are the return type you can specify those information also you get on this website so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial